Welcome to the Still No Haircut Show. As I am shifting content, talking more about records, there's one thing that is still left for me to do, and that is the most cliche thing ever for a record channel, and that is a vinyl update, which is what I'm going to do now, because I got in the mail a really nice big package. I'm gonna open it up together and I'm going to show you the rest of the records that I got. Now first of all this is a package um, four records. I ordered four records and as I told you guys in the last video 95% of my collection is heavy metal but this package is none of that. It's actually something that I have not in my collection yet. Um, it's a fairly new genre that I am checking out and I got these records pretty really cheap. For two of them I didn't even pay double digits so it's pretty cheap and I think this is a cool addition to my collection because I like to have um, besides the usual heavy metal, I think it's pretty cool to have some different kind of music in your collection. So we're gonna open this up together. I don't know what it looks like exactly, of course, because it's sealed shut. And for that we have a knife. can be more metal than that. So let's open it up. Here we go. Let's see. Another layer. Oh, I'm gonna step myself here. Should be easier than this, right? Got a knife, gotta use it. So, so. So, let's see what we got here. I guess uh, four, four records. Let's start with the first one. Now, the stuff that I got is Japanese city pop or jazz, something like that. The sleeve, which came with an obi strip original back cover I don't I don't even exactly know what I got um, like if they contain the obi or the insert or whatever booklet with lyrics lyrics can't read it because it's all Japanese and I am not learning Japanese right now. Here is the second one. Take it out of the sleeve. Just all regular black vinyl. Again with Obi Strip. Um, this record I think it's sort of a uh, compilation of her best songs. This, um, if you know city pop, Japanese city pop, then you probably know the song Plastic Love, which is from this artist. I'm sorry for the hardcore fans if I'm butchering this shit, but I'm just getting into this um, it's kind of a half blind buy. Because I knew, um, uh, I knew what music I was buying, I knew some songs which sounded really good, but I didn't know the complete records, the full records, full songs, so I'm kind of know what I'm buying, but still getting a surprise, which is really nice. And like I said, it wasn't expensive, so insert with songs and lyrics. 
Yeah, I know for a fact. I know for a fact that this is a compilation record. Next one. Let's take it out again. Regular black vinyl. Again with OB strip. Uh, insert again. Lyrics. Lyrics. All Japanese. I don't fucking speak Japanese. So. Final record. As you can see, this one does not have an OB strip. Does this have the insert? Yes, it does. With the lyrics, very nice. So I'm really excited to listen to this. Because what I've heard so far is really good really enjoyed it so i'm really excited to listen to the rest of it japanese city pop jazz something like that really cool stuff next up is the metal stash <sighs> this is from like a week or two ago. First one. The Etruscan, if I say that right, Etruscan Prophecy. It's an Italian band and they play a form of epic heavy metal. This record is from 1988, if I say that correctly. It is a reissue. Um, gatefold cover with the lyrics and even a little story about the band in both English and Italian. Back cover, nothing special. Black vinyl, regular black vinyl, nothing special on black vinyl. But I like black vinyl the most, so black vinyl. It's really, um, really cool stuff. If you haven't heard this band or have no clue what epic heavy metal is, then this is a great record to start with. Especially the first song, perfect one to go in, discover epic heavy metal. Recommended. Next one. Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. This is um, this record is from 1988. It is their um, whatever. It's not their first record from 1988. Very cool record, but I'm not too familiar with this record, so I bought it for a really good price to give it a few spins. Love the insert. Really cool on the back. The lyrics. Very cool. Regular Black Vinyl. Next one. Death Angel. The Ultra Violence. It is their debut album from 1987. Bay Area Thrash. Great. Really absolute great thrash record. Mm -hmm. Insert with lyrics. Back. Next one, from the same area, Agent Steel with Unstoppable Force from 1987 as well, 1986 or 87, I think it's from 87. Speed metal, thrash metal, really great stuff, absolutely great band, great stuff with the insert, lyrics. Really recommend Agent Steel. I love this band. I love their first two records. But I still didn't have this one in my collection. I do have their first record already. 
but this one was still missing and I finally got it for a really good price so I'm really happy with this one. If you're curious to what Agent Steel sounds like I recommend you look up the title song of the record Unstoppable Force. It's pretty much Agent Steel in a nutshell and what you're gonna get. I really love the singer John Cyrus. Do I say that right? Do I say that right? John Cyrus indeed. High pitched vocals, pretty unique, pretty recognizable, great vocals. Check that record out. Next one is um, one I'm also not too familiar with, but I know from what I've heard it's a really fun album, and that is Savage Grace with After the Fall from Grace. Nice embossed title shiny gold very nice back this is really fun fun heavy metal to say it like that it's just straightforward heavy metal a little bit of speed metal but it's a really fun energetic record great stuff great singer as well great record and the vinyl record of The vinyl, final, the last vinyl, the final one, final, final, Sabbath. History of a time to come. This record is, this is an original noise pressing from 1987. This is their debut album. It is a UK thrash metal band, but a little more... Let's say that this thrash metal is more than just kill poser party thrash metal. It comes, like you saw already, with an insert with the lyrics and like all the noise stuff, their catalog on the back. So this was the heavy metal that I got the past two weeks. It's really... Great stuff, really glad to add to my collection because some of these I was looking for for a while. Great stash of records and as well as the Japanese city pop stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment so we can talk about this shit. Uh, do you know these records or do you not? Do you want to check them out? Let me know what you think. And... If you ever heard of Japanese city pop, let me know if you like that stuff or any more recommendations for me. And I'll see you guys. I have for next week planning to do another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.